Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 13 with our series here. I want to apologize for it being such a long time since the last Terra Genesis video, but I've literally just been basically sitting around waiting for the pressure to go down. Now, I know it's going to take forever at the current rate that I'm uh, lowering the pressure. I'm only at 1.5 million, which is still pretty good considering where we started. But... Um, this isn't a lot of growth here, but I haven't wanted to mess with it too much because right now I've actually managed to hit a point where I can, if you look, heating is going down a little bit. It's not a lot, but it's almost at the 287 goal. Pressure is all, uh, almost breached 1 million here. We're halfway there. And oxygen, no increase or decrease. Oxygen is perfect. No water. Uh, water is starting to go up because the vapor in the atmosphere is finally starting to release. Uh, and the global cooling uh, is going to start putting water down, which is good. We've got 290,000 in the atmosphere, so that'll put us really close to our 300,000 goal. So as it stands right now, the planet is in like a perfect serenity in terms of not having to worry about uh, things running away from me while I just let the planet sit. So that's uh, that's working out pretty good. So that's kind of why I haven't had done any videos because I've literally just let it sit right in this perfect state. I haven't had to babysit it. I pop in every like three days or so and just watch it and be like, okay, it's going down, it's going down. And then once this hits 100,000, that's when I'm going to be able to jump right in and start tweaking it to make it the perfect planet. Uh, it does For me, it doesn't really matter what year we're on. I know it's way up there right now. But it's just not important to me because uh, I'd much rather just kind of let it slowly go down and then I can kind of tweak the numbers uh, when it's when it's better to work with. I'm snapping my fingers in the background if you can hear it because I'm trying to keep my dog off my bed. She knows when I'm recording. She's smart enough now. She's been around me long enough when I'm recording to know that when I start recording, I can't really turn around and yell at her when she jumps on the bed. So she takes it as the perfect opportunity to jump on the bed and try to lay down, which she's not allowed to be up there. Or uh, as of recently, she's not allowed to be up there, so I'm kind of trying to break that, uh, break that out of her, because she's got her own dog bed on the ground right next to me. But yeah, okay. So uh, different things that we're gonna want. We've almost researched everything, so I'm kind of just working on researching at this point. Not a huge deal. I'm gonna grab the hydrogen processor because uh, the reason that I am actually recording this video just to do an update and show you guys where we're at is because I am actually gonna to try to lower the pressure a little bit faster here. Try to tweak these numbers a little bit more. I think we're gonna go ahead and increase the biofixture labs. I think that'll help. Uh, just like what I've mentioned in previous episodes, the biggest thing is just trying to take baby steps with everything so that it don't get too far ahead of yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade both of these. This won't be a big deal. It will add plus 10 total oxygen uh, increasing. But if we actually go to our oxygen colony here and we click on it, we can see that I've got exactly 10 oxygen turned off right now. So I can go ahead and turn that oxygen back on once those are built, which will take approximately... Um... 29 minutes and 20 something seconds. Okay, so only 30 minutes, so that's not bad at all. So that'll in it decrease the oxygen a little bit more. Uh, we'll get a plus 10 here, and I might let that run and check on it in a day or so and see if we get closer to the 10, uh, 210,000 goal before I activate those two O2 filters and shut that down. Uh, what else? We've got to start working on population increase as well. Um, we're doing pretty good actually on becoming independent. We're not that far off, 70%. So we would only need to get um, six more points. Right? No, four more points. No, six more. Duh. Okay, so we need to get six more points. Uh, which means we're going to need to hit those colony bumps. Oh, you'll see too that I don't even have to have the outpost running, we're generating money alone just from the space elevator and all the trade route with water, rich gem deposits, rich plutonium deposits, the great rider, rich magnesium, trade pressure or trade routes with these guys. It's actually generating enough credit credits that I don't even need to build anything else. That's kind of cool. And then on top of that, we have 3 billion credits, which is plenty enough to balance the planet till we win. 
So that's not bad at all. Now, how far are we? I think it's, yeah, 50,000 population to our next point. So we could do another Hab Dome. If, dome. if we did another one, that would give us uh, another culture point. It also adds 10 oxygen and 20 water. Now, the oxygen uh, is not as much of an issue. It's mainly going to be the water. We do have the electrosis plant. What is the next step above that? An ice launcher, and that's minus 10 pressure, gives us credits, and it's minus 120 water. Minus 120 water. So this is minusing 80 water now. If we were to minus 120 water, we could build... We could build two more hab domes. And then we just have to deal with the oxygen threat, which would be an additional 20 oxygen. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and try and do this. We're going to build a ice launcher. Minus 10 pressure. Actually, we need the pressure drop. So that's a that's not a bad thing. So we'll build the ice launcher. It's going to be a huge subtraction to water, so we're going to need to build two more hab domes, get them building, and then build something to cancel out the plus 20 oxygen we're going to have. Let's go ahead and queue up a hab dome here, and we'll put a hab dome in our next smaller colony, which is going to be pressure here. So one more hab dome here. And then I would like to build something to cancel out the oxygen. It's going to be plus 20 oxygen. We know that. So if we go into oxygen here, we already have the plus 10. That is going to be for upgraded pressure uh, reduction things, whatever the heck they're called. I never remember all the names. So we need to cancel out 20 more oxygen. We're either going to do that by upgrading more O2 filters, which we could do. We could build another carbon fixer if we were to turn these, leave these turned off, turn off this minus 10 and build a carbon fixer. That'll give us plus 10 pressure. It'll cancel out the ice launcher, which isn't a huge deal, but it will also subtract and leave oxygen at a nice even number. So let's go ahead and do that. Get the carbon fixer. So with all of that being built, and we can turn this O2 filter off after all that's constructed. That should zero us back out again, so we should be in a good spot. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and leave this episode off here. There's an update on the colony for you guys so you can see what's going on. All in all, next time we come back, I'm hoping we'll see this more around 1 million. We'll have a little bit more um, biofixture labs ready to go, and then we'll have some culture points to spend, too. Hopefully, we can get up to that nice 80% and keep moving forward from there. Well, thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.